Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, we'll show you a game between Badur Jobava and Raslan Ponomaryov. Badur Jobava play with white pieces representing Georgia. He is Georgian top chess player and play with black pieces. Raslan Ponomaryov is representing Ukraine. He is Ukrainian chess champion. Padur Jobava started with d4. Raslan Ponomario played knight to f6, knight to c3, d5, bishop to f4. Padur Jobava is playing Veresov opening. Veresov doesn't mind. c5, e3, c takes on d4, e takes on d4, a6, bishop to d3. Knight to c6, knight on g to e2. Knight to f3 is the most played move. Badur Jobava played knight on g to e2. e6, queen to d2. Black to move. Ponomario played b5. He is waiting for white to castle queen side. He could have played knight to b4 and then win the bishop on d3. White can't save the bishop. The game may have continued like this. a3, knight takes on d3, queen takes on d3, bishop to e7, h4, castling kingside, castling queenside. Maybe. But we have b5, white to move, would you castle queen side or king side? Badur Jobava castle the king side. Castling queen side would be extremely risky. After castling queen to a5, black is ready to attack white king. The threat is b4. If king goes to b1, b4. And where is the knight going? Black is winning. What else? If a3, then b4. This is very good for black too. And what else? If b3, then bishop to b4. And again, black is better. Okay, back to our game. That is why Badur Jobava castled kingside. Bishop to e7, a3, bishop to d7, h3, Raslan Ponomaryov castled kingside too. Rook from f to e1, knight to a5, rook from a to d1, queen to b6, knight to g3, Rook from f to c8. White to move. White pieces are all mobilized. Ready to attack. But how? How to attack? What would you do? Please pause the video. And try to find the best move for white. What did you find? Badur Jobava played knight to f5. Pawn takes knight. Rook takes bishop on e7. Georgian fans went, yay! Bravo Jobava! Black's pawn structure is damaged. And rook invaded the 7th rank. But now, Ponovario played bishop to e6. Oops. And how to get the rook out? Georgian fans starting to bite their fingernails. What now? This is now the critical position for the purpose of our exercise. Jobava was ready for this position when he played knight to f5. So the real critical position 
was this one. Okay, so knight to f5, pawn takes, knight, rook takes on e7, bishop to e6. But Dutrobova saw this position. He knew what to do. Can you guess the move that white played in this position? How would you save the rook? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Badur Jabala played bishop to h6. What a move! Threatening bishop takes pawn. Or maybe queen to g5 and then queen takes pawn on g7 checkmate black to move pawn takes bishop queen takes on h6 rook takes on c3 something like bishop to d7 then queen to g5 check king to f8 rook from d to e1 queen takes on d4 queen to h6 check king to g8 then rook from 1 to e3 intending rook to g3 check and white is winning okay back to our game in the game we have rook takes knight on c3 queen to g5 check king to f8 queen takes knight on f6 desperado move rook takes bishop white to move white played the move and black resigned the move is Badur Jobova played C takes on D3, black resigned, rook takes rook is also winning. In the game we have C takes on D3, black resigned. One threat is rook takes bishop and then queen to h8 check winning the rook. White also has a threat, rook takes pawn. And if bishop takes rook, queen takes queen. Black plays rook to b8. So now the rook and the queen are protecting each other. Then rook to e1. And now a random move like knight to b3. Rook from 1 takes on e6. Queen takes rook. Rook takes queen. King to g8. Rook to e3, intending rook to g3, check, and we can stop here. That was a very nice attack by Badur Jabala. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.